What's going on guys? This is Scott with KC Blade Drip, home of the 150% guarantee where 100% of the time I will be over 50% right. Every knife has a story. We do our best to try to give you a little taste either at the beginning of that story, middle, end, doesn't matter. We just like knives. Just this channel is all about knives. You never know what's going to come at you. I love out the fronts, love autos, love anything that we could uh, put a label on when it comes to knives, blades. I'm a fan, and I know that you are too. Thank you for choosing this video, either searching, looking, or, which I love the best, when you actually subscribe to my channel. Yeah, well, and that's the way I feel too, buddy. It's kind of neat how he, uh, you think he's just an old man, the way that he moans all the time. So today, coming to you, um, we've got, the name of the company is uh, EMC EDC, which is Every Man's Pocket. This is the Nimble T. Now, at least for me, how I came about getting to know this particular company and finding this knife, I think it was a few months ago, uh, they were doing, I saw on Instagram, they were taking pre-orders, which, you know, it seems like there's a lot of companies that are doing this. They will do some type of a rollout on a particular knife, and then they get orders, and then months later, they'll have them delivered. Now, I kind of would like to think that these companies, what they do is, you know, they find an OEM or somebody they source this out to, and then they have them made a certain number, depending on pre-sales and having a little extra uh, stock on hand. So they put their order in, they're made to their uh, specifications, they receive them, then send them out. I, I'm not a huge fan of this process. I would rather have somebody make a knife, whether it be a custom or otherwise, and have everything ready to go, and I just buy it and get it instead of waiting. I'm not the most patient person. The waiting game kicks my ass. So I did. I waited on this. I was patient. I just checked, uh, followed them on Instagram, saw when they had any type of updates. They've got different sizes different uh, models. This is the Nimble T. And uh, let's take a look. So like, this is right now August uh, 18th of 2022. Now this, I, I got probably just a few days ago, I think three or four, if that. I've had it in my pocket a couple of days guaranteed and I've been using this First off, I love the knife. It's great. I'm going to go into some of the different specs and things that I see and know of the particular knife. Uh, Pre-order, I think, was back in May, June, July, yeah. And then the prognosis or outlook was that uh, it would be delivered sometime towards either the end of July or beginning of August. So we were right in that range uh, when, when I received this. Uh, I got it in this case. Of course, the knife was in there. Kind of a cool little case. Now, this is their uh, logo that they use. I don't know if that's like an atom, some type of energy. It's really cool. I mean, I've seen it on like scientific or aerospace type things. I, I'm not exactly sure what to call that particular logo, though. So you open it up. This is exactly what came in on top of the knife. They give you a couple little stickers here. And then here we've got the uh, EMP EDC. So yeah, Nimble T, Blade Steel. Well, that's cool. I can see I didn't even look in the back of this. So yes, M390. Date of birth, July 22, first run. So that's kind of neat. I didn't know that. And then you get this little cloth. And then the knife was packaged inside here. So it was a nice little case. 
I'm not huge on cases, but if you're gonna do it, make it look nice, and they did. So, yeah. And then here's the knife that was inside as we take a look at this. All right. So there are three ways to deploy it. Now this is going to be just to kind of go over looks. I loved the all black look. I don't know what it was. They had some other versions, variants, different options that were available when you went in to order it. I saw the, I think there was like a honeycomb, there was a frag pattern, which this is. And I think that these were the only two different types of handle patterns. So this is the frag pa uh, pattern, DLC blackout. I just wanted everything black, which is, I tend to go to that for no other reason, but aesthetically I like it. Lined up beautifully as we can see here. The blade itself lined uh, right down the middle. I like the clip as well. It was very, uh, I just like it. It's aesthetically pleasing, very much so. So we can do, uh, as far as deployment on this, we can finger flick, spidey flick, whatever you want to call that, which that's my favorite. I, as you can tell, if you've seen some of my earlier videos, I've got, I'm getting a little better. I sit around and play with enough knives, you'd think that I'd be a lot better. So that's one way of deployment. The other way is, which this was all new for me, you have a little tab up here on the top, on the right side and the left side. So what that allows us to do is you can flick it. Now the other side would be for some type of a front flip. Now I'm not, I don't really do the front flip stuff. I don't know if you use this finger like this or if you use your thumb and kind of go like that. But anyways, so those are the three different ways you can open it or I guess four, you can just grab it and go like that, like a grandpa. So no offense if you are a grandpa, hey, no offense. <laughs> I could see grandpa's going, well, wait a minute. I don't open my knives like that. All right, all right, you got me on there. So, uh, yeah, Nimble T Frag Pattern DLC Blackout. Now, I think you could get like a, a tie clip for it, or they had a little package where you could dress it up with some colorful looking, like a clip, and I think maybe it was a pivot collar. I'm not sure, but there was uh, some options. I didn't, I didn't really want to opt into any of that extra stuff just because this was my first knife from this particular company. So I didn't really know what to expect. It ran, I think, right around $300, and I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. It was either between like $260 and $300, somewhere in there. It's designed by John Rusk, who came up with this. John, you did a great job. Keep doing what you do, buddy. M390 steel, there's no type of information on the blade itself. It is sterile, meaning there is nothing on it, just a little oil there. I love this Tonto grind, how aggressive that is. In fact, I used this a few different times where I was holding it like this, put it down, and I had uh, some cardboard, and then another time I had napkins, and I used the tip of this and cut across it. It went right through it like butter. This thing is razor sharp. Down here on the grip, if you look, well, this is a flat grind with a compound grind here at the end of it. You can't see it very well because 
it's that uh, black, but there is a compound right down here at the, towards the, the tip where it angles. And then as I was saying, the handle itself, when you grab this, you're going to get three fingers <laughs> around it very comfortably. If you have a large glove, I think if you had an extra large, you'd still be able to fit those fingers around the handle like this. Then you have this choil up near the front that you can put your index finger in. And it's comfortable. It is very comfortable to handle it this way. You've got some jimping up on the top of the blade. Nice thin profile, but not so thin that you are going to run risk of it being weak. This is a very strong, sturdy lockup and blade. It's on ceramic bearings with hardened steel washers inside here, which is just giving us very fluid, good detent. And speaking of detent, uh, we have a steel lock bar insert right here because this is a frame lock. As you can see, lock up on this. And then it's got uh, ceramic detent bolt. So the detent is really good and it holds it great. So as far as components that are making this up, wonderful components make up of it. Really stylish. I love the little uh, logo here on your pivot. You flip it over clip side. That's where you have your uh, screw that you can tighten or loosen or adjust if need be. Beautiful frag pattern. Look at the overall architecture. He got this down, man. He got this down, guys. Nice flat across the top here. The jimping is very non-aggressive, so it just feels good, like some really good traction under your thumb or if you use your uh, index finger. Very good traction up here at the top. I like how they hollowed out this flipper for you a little bit. And this gives you some great texture on the handle itself. This frag pattern, really like it in hand. Nice and soft, but you feel that texture. Okay, now if you go like this and grab, you can do this if you wanted to, but I'll be honest with you, this in just flipping it out a few times and kind of holding it and using it, it's more comfortable to put your finger up here on the choil area. Uh, this is a all titanium handle, so M390 with tie handle, straight up titanium clip, all hardware, other than your steel lock bar here, which is going to be a lot, you know, more durable. On the inside of this thing, let's take a look. See, do we have any type of... Yes, we do. It does look like it's skeletonized right there. We can see it on each side. So the backspacer here, this is going to be titanium as well. There is a, a lanyard hole on the back for you guys, gals, people that like to have a lanyard on your knives. Very, uh, very well put and done here on the knife at the back of the blade, but it just keeps that same profile. So it's nothing that's going to be an eyesore or stand out. Very minimal screws on this. You've got a couple here. Got a couple here for your clip. Here as well. Uh, this is going to be for right hand tip up carry only. This is a pretty deep carry clip. It's going to go, well, what? About, yeah. So you only have maybe a quarter to, yeah, about a quarter of an inch that sticks out of your pocket. It rests really well. Coming on and off of the pocket, this clip is, it works wonderful. I've taken it in and out several times, trying to pay attention to how it clips on it. Doesn't feel like it's doing any type of uh, excessive wear or any pulling on your pants pocket that may uh, tear them up. I don't know long-term. These are all my opinions. That's what you guys pay me for. 
Whoops. I'm, I'm not getting paid. But uh, yeah, good size. Let's just measure it here. Okay, so the blade itself, and I think they say it's a fraction over three inches. Right here, we're at three inches. And then the cutting area or the actual sharp edge is going to be two and a half inches. The handle itself, we're going to be looking at right at Right at four, just a skosh under four inches on the handle. So just a nice little small EDC size knife. It feels kind of light, but yet yeah, it's it's there. I think that for most people, this is what you're gonna look for in an EDC with I mean if you can pull the trigger on something that is between 250 and 300 and this is available. I say, uh, as Backyard Knife Dude does, I say do it. I say go for it. I think that's what he says. All right, so 3.8 ounces. Let's do it again just for the hell of it. Yep, 3.8. So see, this is getting right into that category of just being a really nice size for EDC, I would say for the majority of people. I tend to like a little bigger knife myself, but then again, I'm usually carrying anywhere like between, well, always two, but it's usually three or four knives that I carry. So this would be perfect to just pull out if I needed to do a quick task or I didn't want to have a big production or anything. So yeah, this is EMC, EDC, every man's pocket. Every woman's pocket. I got to walk it in my pocket. This is a Nimble T, Frag Pattern, DLC Blackout, all titanium, with M390 blade steel, Tonto, aggressive, beautiful fit, beautiful finish, guys. All right, appreciate you watching. Let's remember our pets, remember our vets, the little furry guys, the non-furry guys, the loved ones that take care of us unconditionally and lick us and kiss us and love and hold and squeeze. And then the vets, men and women that uh, always um, fight for our freedoms and protect us. We want to tell you guys thank you. And um, yeah, make sure, and two, I just wanted to mention, we're only about 10 at the time of this video getting posted. We're only 10 subscribers away from hitting 400. Once that happens, this Kubi is going to be going bye-bye, this Kubi Raven. So this is going to be given away to somebody um, once we hit 400, I'll do a video letting you know what you need to do to uh, be, try to get that. So a lot of the cool things in store. I've got some great knives and different content that will be coming up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Even if you don't like my jazz on this channel, just go ahead, subscribe. It doesn't do anything, but oh, you would keep seeing my videos coming up on your feed. And with that, guys, love who you see in the mirror. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week, fantastic weekend, wherever you may be. Positive thoughts equals positive actions. And until we meet again, take care.